Today I took some of the most popular TV shows and turned them into Lego sets. From shows that you watched as a kid that ones you may watch as an adult. And even some R-rated sets that Lego would never make. But don't worry, you don't need to have watched all these shows, because to be fully honest, I haven't watched them all either. So this should be really fun. With that said, let's get into it. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Gary the Snail. Oh yeah, and SpongeBob SquarePants, of course. Now let me just say, if you did not watch this show when you were a kid, then you definitely didn't have a childhood. And over 10 years ago, Lego did an entire line of sets based off of SpongeBob. My personal favorite being the Krusty Krab. Now this set is just great. You get SpongeBob's fry cook station, you get an area for Squid Edward to take orders. Uh, I'll have an, uh, 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 what's that? Patrick, go be stupid somewhere else. And of course, we have Mr. Krabs. So I also gave him a bunch of money because that's his favorite thing. And my favorite thing is when you smash that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 by the end of the year, and I need your help. But then I finally put in the rest of the gang, and then like that, we had SpongeBob in Lego. That's pretty cool. Now next up, we're going to be recreating one of my favorite shows of all time, The Clone Wars. This is one of the best animated shows ever made, and it is the first ever real Star Wars TV series. And I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of like Star Wars. The show was supposed to take place during the prequel Star Wars movies and was kickstarted with a movie that wasn't very good, by the way. Anyway, I decided it would probably be a cool idea to recreate the most iconic scene from the show, and that was when Ahsoka left the Jedi Order. All I had to do was take this old Order 66 mock I made with some clone troopers and Anakin and take out the clone troopers, and then I could just have Ahsoka and put her in and have her walk down the stair. I also included Cody, Rex, and Obi-Wan Kenobi just because they are such iconic characters from the show I'd feel bad if I left him out. This was truly one of the saddest scenes in TV history, and I love it in Lego. Now let's move into another show. Next up is a cartoon series that's been going for a really long time called Looney Tunes. It's been running for over 90 years, basically. Bugs Bunny, Dappy Duck, Tweety Bird, all American icons. Now these guys are known for their witty humor and practical jokes and running through walls like Wile E. Coyote. And last year, LEGO actually released an entire series of minifigures based off of these guys, which they never did before. And I am so happy about it. We also have some questionable picks in there, but we'll get to that. First up, we got Bugs Bunny, who looks great with his carrot. What's up, Dad? We also got Tweety Bird, Speedy Gonzales, Sylvester, and the Tasmanian Devil, as well as Lola Bunny from Space Jam, and even Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote, as well as some guys I have never heard of. This one's apparently called Petunia Pig. What does that even mean? And th that's all, folks. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's The Muppet Show. This 70s classic is based off of Jim Henson's hit characters, The Muppets. You guys know them. Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear. So I thought it'd be a really fun idea to give them a theater. So what I did was I bought this little theater set and converted it into a Muppet theater, set up some nice posters on it. Now it's time to put a bunch of Muppets in. First up, I had to load the balcony with Statler and Waldorf, of course. Then I had to put the band in front with Ralph, Janice, and Animal. I gave Miss Piggy a dressing room because it just felt necessary, as well as giving Bunsen and Beaker their own little science lab downstairs. We also have the Swedish chef cooking up some tomatoes and chicken. And of course, Fozzie and Gonzo on stage doing the banana sketch. But who could forget the man of the hour himself, Kermit the Frog. And did I also mention I'm a really large Muppet fan? My favorite character is the Swedish chef. Work, work, work. Next up is The Office. This show is basically about the day-to-day -day life of a small paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. But instead of it being a normal workplace, it is craziness. First, I built up the set and it was super fun. It comes with so many Easter eggs like Kevin's famous chili, it is your birthday, and a turd under Michael's desk. So yeah, somehow I was turned into a Lego minifigure. Dang it, Jim. What did he do? He put my Lego stapler in Jello again. But yeah, they absolutely nailed the set and this is one of the funniest shows I've ever watched. And before I go any further, I just need to give you a brief motivational Michael Scott quote. Oh, I'm just pooping, you know how I be. Now we have our first R-rated show, Breaking Bad. Now what is this show about? Basically about a high school teacher and a student bonding over cooking. The problem is what they are cooking is illegal and blue. So first up, I had to make some of the main characters, of course. First up, I got this angry grandpa face and put it on this button down shirt and we had Walter White, I decided to give him some chemistry equipment. Next up we have Jesse Pinkman with his signature beanie and his very fun juice bottle. And did you know that you have rights? Saul Goodman does. So we made him, I think he looks perfect with his gray suit as well as this just absolutely amazing hairpiece. I could not have thought of a better hairpiece to use for this. And for that, we made Mike. Very, very simple figure, and yes, Paul. And finally, we made the CEO of Los Pollos Hermanos, Gus Frank. And since Gus is played by the same guy who did Moff Gideon, I decided to take off his head and use it on the character. 
Now for the build, I decided I wanted to get a bit creative. Because the regular camper RV is so boring, I went and bought this ice cream truck set, which conveniently already has a little kitchen set up in it for them to use. All you have to do is take out the ice cream stuff. And what's better is it advertises on the side of the bus. Only the best is good enough. How perfect is that? Next up, we're gonna go back 60 years to a show from the 60s, The Flintstones. Another cartoon animated show, everyone's heard of it. Basically, the show is about an alternate timeline where men and dinosaurs live together, which leads us to the main character, Fred Flintstone. We have his car, which is run by feet power. We also have his house made completely out of stone, which first off, how, who's lifting that? How is that possible? We also have his bowling set, TV, and other things that absolutely existed in prehistoric times. We also have his wife, Wilma, and his best friend, Barney Rubble. Overall, this show's a classic, and I'm really happy Lego made him, but what is going on with the noses? There's just an absence of nose. There's no nose there. It is just an empty void of space. It looks ridiculous. Now, the next two shows we have up are called sitcoms. Basically means situation comedy. Either way, Lego has made some of them. One of them is called Seinfeld, which follows the life of, you guessed it, Jerry Seinfeld. Yes, the Jerry Seinfeld, the one of Barry B. Benson B-movie fame. Basically, you follow his friends around like Costanza, who is bald, and others. And this is a super fun set. You get the couch, the kitchen, you get the back rooms, and you even get a little air conditioning unit, which I've never seen in Lego before. It really replicates the set of the show quite well. Look, there's even a little Superman on the refrigerator. Now, the next show is The Big Bang Theory. It's basically about socially awkward smart people, otherwise known as the unfunniest show of all time. I do not like this show at all. It is just not good, and I think it's the most unfunny thing. But it was the first TV show set that Lego really made based off a sitcom, which was kind of surprising. Although I do like Sheldon, he could stay. I mean, I guess we could recreate the scene where they eat Chinese food. Somehow this was the most popular show in America at some point. I really don't know how. I do know there was one scene where Luke Skywalker married Sheldon, so I'm just gonna recreate that instead because that seems way more fun. And here it is. Overall, all right set, terrible show. Now the next show we got is The Sopranos. This show is one of the best of all time and is my absolute favorite and is about a fat mafia boss in New Jersey. So first I went ahead and bought custom figures from this website Citizen Brick called the Gabagool Gang for $65 and we got four characters. Tony, Pauly, Sill, and Uncle Junior. They all look really sharp. I also gave him this classic car set because, oh, it's they just look so good in it. I also made my own custom version of his nephew, Christopher. What's even better is I happen to live in New Jersey and one of the sets for the shows was actually filmed not that far away from me. So what I did was I brought them to the actual set of the show in Asbury Park, New Jersey and got some cool shots from where they actually filmed elements of the show. Like when they were on the boardwalk bench and when there was a dream sequence where he shot Pauly. And it's really cool that I got to visit these places with some really awesome minifigures. And look at that, look, I'm like right where he was standing. How cool is that? Let's Let's get back to the studio. Now, if you like this video, then hit that subscribe button and tell me what shows you'd want to see in a future video, as I always can do a part two. Now in the comments, tell me what shows I missed because there are so many that I did not cover here. Also smash the like button while you're down commenting. Oh, I'm just pooping. You know how I be.